team to help better understand their research. Usher Qureshi reports. In this stunning 320 degree cavern of pixels, data comes to life. Numbers transformed into a flight skimming the surface of Mars. Known as the Cave 2, this large-scale virtual reality environment was dreamed up by computer scientists at the Electronic Visualization Lab at the University of Illinois, Chicago. Think of a project room or a war room where you hang up uh, pieces of paper and photographs and you tape them to the wall so you can see lots of different data at the same time. But today all data is stored in computers and rather than print them out and tape them to the walls, we wanted electronic walls where you could display information. The Cave 2 can transport psychiatrists inside their patients' brains using data from an MRI. These visualizations of the neural connections in the brain can provide critical understandings of how depression manifests in the mind. You get a very different perspective, kind of like Alice in Wonderland, where you can be big or you can shrink down the rabbit hole. And so you get very different understanding of the data when you look at it in different sizes, different relationships. Researchers here say the applications are seemingly endless, but interdisciplinary collaboration is at the heart of the Cave 2's mission, taking zeros and ones and bringing them to life through three-dimensional immersive graphic representations. In 2009, NASA funded the Endurance Research Project to study extreme underwater environments. The team dropped a $6 million robot into the center of Antarctica's Lake Bonnie, using sonar to collect data from the lake's deepest point. We had the robot running active sonar, you know, sending out pings through a very thick salt layer, which made the math a little tricky. And what we ended up getting back was over 50 million points. University of Illinois professor Peter Doran headed up the expedition. This way we could build up a three-dimensional map of any parameter we wanted. So it's a data set unlike any other data set in a lake environment. That data, now processed inside Cave 2, is providing key insights into what kind of life can be sustained in icy bodies of water beyond our planet. For instance, on the moon of Jupiter, uh, Europa, and Europa has an icy shell and it's almost certain that it has an ocean underneath. And so we're looking at, um, at this as a small scale analog for what that life might be that you would find in Europa. You know, on Earth, everywhere you find water, you find life. Cave 2 and its 3D data visualizations are one small step for computer scientists and one giant leap for explorers and researchers. Asha Qureshi, Al Jazeera, Chicago. All right, and thank you for watching Al Jazeera America. I'm Rochelle Carey. Real Money Weekend is next, and for updates throughout the day, check out our website, aljazeera.com, and uh, look at what's happening in Washington.